you know what? I think you hit it on the head, and so did he. Um, the challenge is once, once you go to your bench, I mean, really, those guys could start. It really, you know what I mean? Any combination, Gino, JJ, and Jordan, it's, they, they come in, and we're not losing much, if, if at all. As a matter of fact, the way Gino's playing, I mean, he, he's elevating us. Um, so he, they're playing really good basketball. We're still a work in progress. I, I, we can be a whole lot better, a whole lot better um, on certain things, especially rebounding. But a ton of positives from today to go that deep. I felt like we were consistent again. I thought we were consistent throughout, consistent throughout. Um, and I don't like playing TP. He's a good friend of mine. It's hard. And I know John, uh, number 10, it was his first game back. So that, you know, that adds to, to his team. Um, but when, once they get him going, I think they're going to be fine. Uh, but overall, the, the, um, I thought for 40 minutes, I thought we played consistent. There's a lot to clean up, though. Pat, Tom talked about your defensive intensity and, and physicality. As a coach, you got to love when an opponent is kind of praising your team for, yeah. for those qualities. Yeah. I mean, that's great to hear. He's a great guy, and I appreciate that. But um, we have a long way to go. You know, I, I see certain things during the game that we got to clean up to be a really, really good Big Ten team. And, and, and we're going to find out. We're going to find out this weekend exactly where we are. What do you need to clean up? Um, you know, just I'd like to see more stances. I'd like to see more chatter out there. I, I think um, when you hear us talking early and often, man, we're really good on the defensive end. We're really solid. Uh, there was a situation out there we were playing some zone. Ross Travis, Julian Moore, I think all five guys were talking. And if we can get to that level, now you're, now you're back to being the best defensive team in the league. And I'm talking about the Big Ten. And that's what we're striving for. He also kind of contrasted their youth to your maturity. Are, yeah. are there ways that you've seen that maturity kind of play itself out? He, he's exactly right. I mean, he's got a sophomore and a freshman are his best players. And he's trying to mix and match right now what's the best flow. Um, Maturity was a word I used before the game. How mature was our approach? Um, and how, how long was it going to last? You know, again, they, we got jumped in the first four minutes. We got to correct that. But I felt like our maturity um, throughout our halftime, very mature, very focused. He, he's right. We have veterans. We have seniors and juniors with a, a very confident freshman and a very confident sophomore in uh, Shep and Gino which is great to see. So you're going to your bench, putting seniors in. Well, John Johnson's a senior. Jordan's a junior. You know, they're, they're veterans. They played in the Big Ten. They played, they played in, in the tough games. So he, he's exactly right. We're, we're just a little bit of, uh, further ahead than he is. Coach gave up high offensive rebounding numbers first two games, 14 tonight. Uh, what are some of the reasons to help that out? And then what yeah. are some of the problems with it though? What I'm noticing is we're running in into the hole, which is that arc outside the basket. We're running in because we're so we know we got to rebound better. We're just too jacked up. We just got to slow down and we're flying into the, under the basket. You can't do that. And then our guards have to rebound. I think they did a pretty good job tonight. Brandon Taylor six. He was in foul trouble. We did a pretty good job. Um, Ross had nine, which is what we need. He was in foul trouble, but our guards got to clean it up. If our bigs are going to scrap and battle in there and box and do everything that they can, our guards got to start digging some things out for us. Because a lot of these rebounds are, are dead ball rebounds or deflections and, and just pops out to the perimeter. So we need to do a better job on, on the rebounding front, we, and we got to clean it up before Charlotte. Coach, last season nearly half of John Johnson's field goals were threes, and now he's maybe thinking drive and score first, drive and kick first, got to the foul line 11 times. How much better does that make him offensively more of a weapon? Yeah, he's going to be tough to guard. I give him credit. You know, he's playing to his strengths. You know, drive it first, see what he gets. If not, he'll take his open threes. I want him to shoot threes. He's earned the right to shoot threes, especially in the last five weeks, six weeks. Um, but he also knows the one-on-one. -on -one. He also knows seven fouls, eight fouls. And he's courageous when he goes in there. And, and he's a trickster when he makes those shots. He normally finishes really well. And he's playing unselfish, too. I think there's situations where he can take some bad ones, and he's not. He's reversing the ball. But wait, he's got to understand he's, he's got to score the ball as well, especially when DJ's out of the game. Uh, Julian seems to have had some pretty solid minutes both of these games, even though he's maybe not putting up numbers that reflect that. What have you seen out of him, especially as he seems to be maybe one of the more athletic big guys that you have? 
How about his energy when he gets in the game? How about his rim run at the end of the half? Great stuff. He's playing really hard. I thought he rebounded the ball well. I didn't check his stats. He's doing some good things for us. Two rebounds, 15 minutes. He's playing hard. And he's getting a better understanding of what he needs to do. I think he's, the concept of, of, of being prepared on defense, knowing the scouting report, little things like that, I think he's growing up and he's starting to mature. He's still a redshirt freshman. So we'll still see the flashes of that. Um, but the energy he brought when I put him in the first half, we got foul trouble. And I'm very confident in him, too, which is, which is a good thing for him. And, and Brandon seems to be a guy who's really developed a game from a lot of different parts of the court. Do you see him as maybe one of your more versatile guys that you have in terms of where you can put him and have him succeed? You're exactly right. Um, he's doing some different things for us. He's posting up. He's working the middle of the zone. Uh, he's picking and popping. Uh, he's driving it, making plays for others. Um, his, his maturity, is really, he's really grown. Um, he understands. Somebody asked me, uh, I think it was Steve Jones, you know, he shot two for ten, but he almost had ten rebounds last game. I don't think he would have done that as a sophomore or a freshman. So I see growth, and we need to find ways to, to get his efficiency, five for six, was really good. And I thought he took very good shots. So we're doing a pretty good job sharing the ball, taking uncontested shots. I'd like to see our assists go up and our turnovers go down, but that's all work in progress. Coach, kind of off of that, you know, there was a number of plays where, you know, you had four or five guys touching the ball before you even, you know, took a shot. How, is, how encouraging is that for you? It's encouraging. It, it really is. And we need to keep doing that, keep the ball hot, attack the paint, um, play unselfish. Well, I think we'll play unselfish on defense. I really believe that. We'll give ourselves up, even a hard foul here and there. We'll give, <laughs> us our, give ourselves up. It's the offensive end, which really makes a great team when you play unselfish. If we can do that, I think this team has a chance to be really good. Again, we have a lot of work to do, but if we can continue, everybody touch the ball a little bit on the offensive end, get the best shot we can, percentages are going to go up for everybody. A lot of compared to Friday night, you know, the same, a little more, a little less. You know, Say, I'm sorry. Chef Garner, compare him to Friday night. You know, how do you think he was um, I thought he was solid. Sometimes you get a freshman feeling good about himself, and you have a little bit of a letdown. Uh, I, don't, I didn't see that. Um, I, got, I got to continue to coach him, and he knows it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull him out when I need to work, teach him and coach him and make him the best point guard that he can be for our future. And I think he's responding very well to it. And uh, he had some timely shots today. He made some timely plays today. He had a big charge, which I'm really proud of. Most That, that play was they were going on a little run. Usually when you're up a, a great amount, the team goes on a run. They're about to go on a run. He makes a big play. Um, we always say don't compound the problem. I think he turns it over, went back, takes a charge. That's big time for a freshman. We saw a little bit of Banks and a little bit of uh, Isaiah and Foster tonight. Is it going to be tough for them to get playing time? Are you just because of the guys ahead of them? It's a long season. It's a long, long. You guys know this. This is a long season. We're only two games in. You saw the foul trouble tonight. We went deep into the bench. It's going to happen. They need to be ready, especially if Shep or DJ get in foul trouble. Devin Foster, you're on deck. He's going to play some serious minutes if that occurs, and it has occurred in the past. And I think he did a solid job tonight you know, for his first action. Thank you.